You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa today attended the Crown Prince's Cup 2022 held under the patronage of His Royal Highness at the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club racetrack. The race comprised of seven rounds. His Royal Highness highlighted that the Kingdom of Bahrain has positioned itself as a global destination for horse racing thanks to the long standing commitment of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to the development of equestrian sports in the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince commended the role of the REHC's High Committee chaired by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa in further developing the equestrian sector and in preserving the kingdom's equine heritage. His Royal Highness wished the REHC continued success in achieving its plans and programs aimed at further advancing the Kingdom of Bahrain's international recognition in the field of horsemanship and equestrian sports. His Royal Highness noted that the strong competition witnessed during the Crown Prince's Cup and the excellent organization of the race reflects the Kingdom's wide-ranging capabilities in organizing international sporting events. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was received by the Chairman of the REHC's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister presented the trophies of the His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's Cup for imported horses to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's Cup for the locally bred horses to winner trainer Fawzi Nas. Chairman of REHC, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa presented the trophy of the His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's Cup for Arabian Horses to Abdullah Fawzi Nas. President of Bahrain Royal Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa presented the trophy of the Bahrain Oaks Cup to Jalal Ibrahim Ramadan. Meanwhile, Executive Director of the RHRC, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, presented the trophies of the High Committee of the RHRC Cup to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Derby Cup to winner owner Abdullah Fawzi Nas, and the Stewards Cup to Mohammed Khalil Abdurrahim.
His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the custodian of the two holy mosques endurance cup for 120 kilometers that was held under the slogan Jockey's Cup in the Saudi Governorate Al Ula. Also present in the event where the Royal Endurance Team participated were first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, General Sports Authority Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in addition to Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and Deputy Chairman of the High Authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was keen on encouraging the participating jockeys in this competition through his follow up to all the stages of the race and his directives to the team. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed his pride in the participation of the Royal Endurance Team in the competition that is patronized by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and has a continuous follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, setting it as one of the most highly prestigious international sporting events. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the Bahraini participation of the Royal Endurance Team recorded a positive note in which the jockeys will benefit through being more familiar with sandy grounds, especially that the team will participate in other similar competitions abroad. His Highness Sheikh Nasser lauded the outstanding efforts exerted by the organizing committee of the competition, congratulating the winning jockeys. The Royal Team was represented by Ra'id Mahmoud, Abdurrahman Al Zayed, Uthman Al Awadi, Mohammed Abdul Samad, and Isa Al Sindi in the tournament in which 200 male and female riders representing 30 countries participated. The horses of the royal team suffered several injuries in the stages, which led to their exit from the veterinary examination. Fer Frederico from Uruguay won the first place, whereas Rivero Andres from Uruguay came in second, and Chazelle Margot from France was third. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, General Sports Authority Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his pride in the achievements of the equestrian sports in all different competitions. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stressed that royal support of His Majesty the King to the sports and the constant interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister have greatly contributed in these accomplishments. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also lauded the relentless efforts exerted by His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in supporting the equestrian sports and setting the perfect environment for all its affiliates in order to develop their levels towards further successes that enhance the reputable status of the Kingdom of Bahrain on the international map. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed his happiness with the victory of the horse Shahama with the slogan of the KHK racing team under the supervision of Fauzi Nas in addition to the leadership of Dutch jockey Adri de Vries. Horst Shahama won first place in the 1500 meters in the UAE 1000 Guinness race, which was hosted by Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Wide participation by owners and teams from different countries of the world was seen in the competitions. His Highness affirmed that this accomplishment enhances Bahrain's high capabilities in the sport, praising His Highness the great efforts made by Fauzi Nas in achieving this deserved victory, wishing the Bahraini equestrian sports further excellence and success in the upcoming participations. 
Meanwhile, the chairman of the board of directors of the Horse Affairs Authority, Sheikh Adej bin Salman Al Khalifa, praised the victory that was achieved by the Horse Shahama, owned by first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, General Sports Authority chairman, and Bahrain Olympic Committee president, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Shahama won first place in KHK racing in addition to the title of UAE 1000 Guinness. Sheikh Daej bin Salman confirmed that the interest and support of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid contributed to recording this great achievement, which is part of a series of accomplishments of the KHK racing team in international sporting events. Sheikh Daej also lauded the efforts of the national coach Fauzi Nas and his keenness to prepare Shahama for this victory. Shahama was led by the Dutch jockey Idris Devres, as this is the third victory in a row without defeat. The Ministry of Labor and Social Development and Hela Bahrain Company signed a memorandum of understanding at Bahrain International Airport to train a number of job seekers within the Furas or Opportunities Program. Present were Minister of Labor and Social Development Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan and Minister of Transport and Telecommunications and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Bahrain Airport Company, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed. The MOU will be valid for years in which a number of job seekers will be trained and employed in the hospitality sector. On this occasion, Minister Hamidan stressed that further MOUs will be signed by the Ministry with the different productive sectors to integrate job seekers into private sector facilities, pointing out that the signing of this memorandum comes within the framework of intensifying efforts that contribute to accomplishing the aspirations of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Prime Minister, in implementing the economic recovery plan and achieving the objectives of the program launched by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad. For his part, the Minister of Transportation and Communication said that the signing of the MOU came to implement the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in setting the Bahraini citizen as choice number one, for investment in developing national condors to create more opportunities for citizens in various companies to maintain economic progress. Bahrain condemned in the strongest terms the missile attack that targeted Baghdad International Airport in the Brotherly Republic of Iraq and a terrorist act that violates the sovereignty of Iraq and contravenes international humanitarian law. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's solidarity with the Brotherly Republic of Iraq and vows support for all measures taken by the Iraqi government to maintain the country's security and stability. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,221,632 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,192,627 had taken the second, and 934,636 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 36,649 with 2,814 recoveries, 6,659 registered new cases and one death. There are 88 active cases receiving treatment and 11 patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,403 total deaths with 317,262 recovered from the virus. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.